Well, here we are on the 25th anniversary of the Goofy movie. <laughs> this is pr the premiere of this, of this cooking show. I'm Michael Martin. I'm a filmmaker who currently, like many filmmakers around the world, is out of work. But I have a lot of production equipment sitting around doing nothing. So I decided to start a cooking show. That's this show. This is the first episode. This is called The Full Measure. The concept behind this show is to make a recipe a couple of ways. One way that most people make it at home in, in their own kitchens, and then another way that most people could still make at home but is a little more involved or a little more complicated. And comparing both recipes to see if it's worth it to do the more complicated recipe or if just sticking with the regular at home baking or cooking is worth it. Today's recipes are chocolate chip cookies. We're gonna make the normal Toll House chocolate chip cookie recipe that everyone knows, and then another recipe from LeVan Bakery in New York City. I'll have my girl friend actually who's quarantined here with me help me out and give her opinions. At the end we'll let you know whether it was worth all of the extra effort. Our first recipe is the Toll House cookie recipe that's been on every bag of chocolate chips you've ever bought. These are the cookies your grandmother or your mother or your dad or whoever made for you when you were a kid. Here's all the ingredients listed out. We'll get started by sifting our dry ingredients, our flour, our baking soda, and our kosher salt together in a bowl and set those aside. We'll add our room temperature butter to a bowl and our sugars, both of them, and we'll try to whisk those together. And then we'll use a wooden spoon. And finally, we'll give up and realize that I just used the wrong size bowl, so definitely get a bigger bowl than I did. You want to mix those together for a couple of minutes until it's very smooth before adding one egg at a time until fully incorporated. The butter that I used was a little too cold, and so it was very difficult to mix, but I finally got it together. And then we're going to add our flour in, in three separate batches. This helps keep things a little cleaner, and it helps you incorporate the flour much easier. This still was too cold, so I called in some backup. <laughs> you can take a little. You can hold the bowl. <laughs> we're making like a witch's brew? Yeah, that feels better. <laughs> finally, we add our chocolate chips. You do not have to stir very much, you just have to incorporate before portioning out onto two parchment lined baking sheets. The recipe says you'll get about four to five dozen. I don't know anybody that makes chocolate chip cookies that small. I got about 24 and I had to cook them in two batches separately in the oven. So we preset and preheat to 375 degrees and you let them bake for about nine to 12 minutes. You do wanna let them finish cooking on the sheet itself. It's a mistake I used to make a lot. You wanna let them sit and you can see here that they finish baking right on the sheet. Yeah, just let me know what you think of it. Good? Yeah, that's a good cookie. <laughs> yeah, that's a good cookie. I mean, it tastes like what you would think a chocolate chip cookie. I like that you had to take a bite before you even finish that sentence. That's good. I'm gonna have this one too. <laughs> <laughs> these are less about being a gourmet cookie and more about like, I made these in 20 minutes. In the middle yeah, of the you day. made them fast. And so, like, these are like a really great cookie to have when you're just like, I just want to bake something, and like a lot of memories. I want to bake something, or it's like, I need to whip something up quick. I'm going to a party, or I want to bring these to a friend. You probably have the stuff on hand, so it's like a good option for not a lot of work, not a lot of effort. Mm. Well done. All right, let's make the Levan cookies. Levan chocolate chip cookies are from a bakery of the same name in New York City. All of the ingredients are here, and these produce a monstrous chocolate chip cookie. The recipe and the ingredient list can be found at fullmeasureshow.com. I'll also list the links in the description. This recipe calls for toasted walnuts, which I did on a small sheet pan at 350 degrees for about seven minutes. You'll need about one cup of those. Just like the last recipe, we're gonna start by sifting our dry ingredients together in a bowl with a tiny whisk. No, hold on, that's someone else's thing. How about a tiniest whisk? We whisk those together just until they're combined and then set them aside. We're gonna add our cold butter to our stand mixer and rough it up for about 30 seconds on a low speed before adding both sugars and returning to a very low speed for another 30 to 60 seconds. Then we'll add our chocolate chips and our walnuts to the bowl and watch as your stand mixer basically tries to mix concrete. Mine did just fine, so I would imagine yours will be okay too. To add our flour, we're gonna use a trick that I learned from Alton Brown years ago, and that is to put your flour on a flexible cutting board and helps you pour it in, again, in small batches. Last, we add our eggs, which you have to make an attempt on a YouTube cooking show to do it one-handed. Did all right there. We beat them to combine and then add them pretty late in the mix before portioning out onto our parchment lined baking sheets. I wanted to play this in real time to show you the exact amount of dough that goes into each one of these cookies. That's a two ounce scoop, and we're gonna do not two, 
but three entire two ounce scoops, making this a six ounce ball of cookie dough. These make monstrous cookies that sound like this when you drop them on a baking sheet. I wanted to be able to see what these weighed, so we busted out the scale and popped one on, and here we are, 6.2 ounces. Monsters. We're gonna freeze each one of these for 90 minutes before baking, and when you're ready, you're gonna set your oven to 375. An interesting technique for these cookies is that you actually have to put an upside down cookie sheet under the cookie sheet that you're baking on. These bake at such a high temperature for so long that that second baking sheet helps prevent burning on the bottom. And here they are these gigantic, gigantic cookies. This video really doesn't do any justice to the size or scale of these cookies until you really hold one in your hand, but I wanted to invite Alexandria in to test and stack these up against the Toll House cookies we made earlier. She hadn't seen them yet, but um, actually, I need you to understand something about Alexandria before we continue. She loves cookies more than any person I've ever met. And she's about to see a cookie that weighs six ounces. So here's her reaction. All right. <laughs> oh. That's good. That's like a slice of cake. Oh, interesting. It's intense. It has cake flour in it. It's really good. It's really good. It's, it's a like lot. A, holy cow, I need water. It's tasty. It tastes like more high end and more like put together and more. Yeah, it definitely doesn't even feel like I'm having a cookie at this point. I think you said scone, which mm -hmm. feels right. But like scone, cake, it's just a lot. This is like a treat. This is like and something then a nap. like indul yeah. <laughs> Super indulgent. Yeah. A lot. It was a lot of fun. I can They're like, fun. Yeah. They're fun, but I think when I think of a chocolate chip cookie. And I think like these are not equivalent. No. These are not They're the same. They're very thing. different. This is more fun. This was yeah. fun. this was and I think something that may come up on this show, this was more fun to make. Yeah. Which is kind of the point sometimes. These are about feeling good at home and taking mm -hmm. care of someone, and these are about fun. Yeah. These are. This is a fun cookie that like, even this amount of me dissecting what these are is like, you've already missed the point. This is a giant f***ing cookie yeah. that is a lot of fun and you eat it and you probably don't feel great afterwards, yeah. but like, what? that's kind of the point. I do feel like if you showed up to a party with those people, would be like, what? You're gonna be the star of the show. Yeah. So. Baking cookies is something any home cook can do. It was the first idea I had when I tried to come up with a concept for the show. That's likely because we are all in a very odd state right now and what helps people the most in times of uncertainty is something familiar. That's what cookies are. Something that brings you back to some idea of safety or a pleasant time. Cookies are a great treat, but sometimes they just make you feel like things are okay. That's something we all deserve and need right now. As far as which recipe is better, the Levan cookie is by far more complex and delicious, but for us, right now, we crave something that's familiar. Something as simple as a recipe printed on the back of a bag of chocolate chips. Can you do, can you wrap up the episode? S smash that like button! I don't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> so if we, if we need to get, so, are there more, you think there'll be more of these? Cookies? <laughs> <laughs> cookies episodes. If you have any thoughts about these recipes or the show in general, please leave a comment below. I definitely am open to suggestions. I've got a couple more episodes planned. Um, I'm hoping for this to be weekly, maybe a little more than weekly since we're cooped up. You know the normal drill though, if you could hit subscribe for me, that would be great. And then hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new episodes. This has been The Full Measure and I appreciate it. Thank you.